My name is Stephen Sindoni. Thank you for tuning in to the broadcast of An Honest Man, the story of Diogenes of Sinope, with excerpts read from a story written by Ben Best. Diogenes was born in 412 B.C. in the Greek colony of Sinope on the Black Sea. After coming to Athens, he adopted the philosophy of the Cynics and became the most famous philosopher of that school. He lived in accordance with the teachings of their belief that a man, in order to attain wisdom and virtue, must be independent of himself, of others, and of the acquisition of fortune. They further believed that it was necessary to give up all the pleasures of life which stand in the way of self-mastery. According to that tradition, he got rid of all of his possessions except the cloak and purse and wooden bowl and lived in a tub or a large earthenware jar. His father was responsible for the minting of coins and when Diogenes took to adulterating the coins with base metals, he was banished from the city. He went to Athens with his slave Manus. Soon after, Manus fled. When Diogenes was advised to chase his runaway slave, he replied, It would be absurd if Manus can live without Diogenes, but Diogenes cannot get on without Manus. In Athens, Diogenes sought Antithenes as his mentor. Antithenes ordered him away and eventually beat him with his staff. Diogenes is quoted as saying, Strike, for you will find no wood hard enough to keep me away from you, so as long as I think you have something to say. The persistence of Diogenes broke the resistance of Antithenes. The record of explicit philosophy by Diogenes is meager. He observed that if the flute player or athlete were to devote their efforts towards training their mind or moral conduct, the results would not be unprofitable. He also noted that just as those who are accustomed to a life of pleasure feel disgust when they experience the opposite, those habituated to a lack of pleasure seem to derive more pleasure from despising pleasure. He used to call the demagogues the lackeys of the people. He said bad men obey their lust as servants obey their masters. He called love the business of the idle and said lovers derive their pleasures from their misfortune. Diogenes did little philosophizing but sought to live an exemplary life of autonomy. He lived in a tub and is said to have taken enormous pleasure in all that he did. He said Plato's lectures were a waste of time. Diogenes plucked a fowl and brought it into the lecture room with the words, Here is Plato's man, in consequence of which they were added to the definition, having broad nails. It is said that Diogenes trampled upon Plato's carpet with the words, I trample upon the pride of Plato, who, who retorted, Yes, Diogenes, with pride of another sort. Being asked whether death was an evil thing, he replied, How can it be evil when in its presence we are not aware of it? When someone declared that life is an evil, he said, Not life itself, but living ill. To one who protested that he was ill, adapted for the study of philosophy, he said, Why then do you live if you do not care to live well? Seeing a youth dressed with elaborate care, he said, If it's for men, you're a fool. If it were a woman, a knave. Being asked what creatures bite is the worst, he said. Of those that are wild, a sacrifant. Of those that are tame, a flatterers. Plato saw him washing lettuces, came up to him and quietly said to him, Had you paid court to Dionysus, you wouldn't now be washing lettuces. The Hygienes with equal calmness answered, If you had washed lettuces, you wouldn't have paid court to Dionysus. On a voyage to Aegina, he was captured by pirates, conveyed to Crete, and exposed for sale as a slave. When he was asked what he could do, he replied, Govern men. And he told the crier to give notice in case anybody wanted to purchase a master for himself. To Zionides, who purchased him, he said, You must obey me, although I am a slave, for if a physician or a navigator were in slavery, he would be obeyed. Zionides took him to Corinth, set him over his own children, and entrusted his whole household to him. Alexander once came and stood opposite him and said, I am Alexander the great king, and I, said he, am Diogenes the cynic. When someone was extolling the good fortune and splendor another had experienced in sharing the suite of Alexander, 
Diogenes said, Not so, but rather ill fortune, for he breakfasts and dines when Alexander thinks fit. Alexander stood opposite him and asked, Are you afraid of me? Why, what are you, said Diogenes, a good thing or a bad thing? Alexander replied, A good thing. Whereupon Diogenes said, Who then is afraid of the good? At another time, Diogenes was sunning himself when Alexander stood over him and said, Ask of me any boon you like, to which he replied, Stand out of my light. Alexander is reported to have said, Had I not been Alexander, I should have liked to be Diogenes. Many legends have come down to us relating to his eccentricity. It is said that he walked the streets of Athens barefoot, wearing a long beard and carrying a stick. On occasion he was seen there carrying a lantern during daytime, his explanation being that he was searching for an honest man. The philosopher died in 323 B.C. As it turned out, both Diogenes and Alexander died on the same day in 323 B.C. Alexander was 33 and Diogenes was 90. After reading the story about the life of Diogenes, I realized that it was imperative that I share it with you. Diogenes was a seeker of truth. He symbolized the questioning of authority. Diogenes regarded honesty as a paramount virtue. With the amount of censorship that is happening today, it is important that we expose injustice and realize that if we do not learn from history, we will be doomed to repeat it. Thank you for listening to the broadcast of An Honest Man, the story of Diogenes of Sinope.